American Express stock, ticker symbol AXP. This stock is down 3.7% year to date, underperforming the S&P 500 big time. The stock is also at their 52 week low, which means it's very interesting. Yesterday, American Express presented quarter results where they beat on EPS and revenue. For the upcoming earnings, almost all analysis think they will miss the estimates. The stock went down roughly 6% after these earnings. People love AXP stock because of multiple reasons, and one of them being the dividend. And I understand why with dividend yield at 1.6% and a really low payout ratio. So could this be the perfect moment to buy AXP stock? Well, I'm very excited to see what you guys think about this stock, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stocks and great prices. So what does AXP do? American Express Corporation is a provider of card products and travel related services. It offers a range of credit cards, charge cards and other payment and financial solutions to individuals, small and middle businesses and corporates. If we dive in the earnings of yesterday, we see that AXP reported a revenue of 15 billion, up 13% year over year. To me, this looks really good. Net income is up 30% year over year, which is also something that I really like. Diluted EPS is up 34%, which is an insane number. This is also because they keep buying back shares, which I also love. In here we see the total network volume growth. We see that growth is slowing down a bit versus previous years. And this is what worries most investors. Both the built business as the process volume is slowing down. Process volume is even at a negative number right now. In here we see the US breakdown in terms of users Gen X presents 37% of the revenue, being their biggest segment, and up 7% year over year. Millennials and Gen Z are up the most with 18% year over year, but the boomers are up only 3% year over year. Another thing that worries a lot of investors is the commercial services built business that is slowing down. It is up only 1% year over year. The international card services built business is up 15% year over year, which looks good to me. In here we see the total ending loans and card member receivables. It is going up in the long run, but year over year growth is slowing down a bit. Nevertheless, 15% is still a great number. In here we see the growth plan for 2023 and 2024. What I really like here is the fact that they see a decent growth pattern ahead. For the 2023 full year, it is expected to see 15 to 17% revenue growth with an EPS of 11 to 11.4 11 dollars. For 2024 and aspiration, we see revenue growth of 10% and EPS growth in mid teens. Both are looking really good to me. And now that we know a little bit more about the company, it is time to check the fundamentals of this stock. But first, if you made it this far into the video, I want to thank you a lot for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to receive multiple analysis every week. And also join my Discord channel for free to meet other people within the community and to talk about stocks. It's completely free, so don't miss it out. Let's continue with diving into the fundamentals. AXP is a 103 billion market cap company. PE ratio is at almost 13, which could indicate that they are undervalued right now. Later in this video, I will show you my three price targets for AXP stock, so make sure to watch until the end. Because PE ratio is only telling a small part of the full story here. Revenue is at 58 billion, and in this graph we see that revenue went up in the long run. During the lockdown periods, revenue went down quite a bit. This same event is also reflected in the margins. It's going up and down quite a lot, and most recently margins have a hit the bottom, I think. I expect that from here margins are going to increase again. EPS is following the same pattern as the margins and revenue, nothing really special to add here. Analysis expect that in 2023 the EPS will grow at pretty high numbers, from 10% up to 14%. So to me this looks really good. From 2026 on it's expected to slow down. For the revenue it is a pretty similar story, but with lower numbers. It is expected to slow down a bit over the years, which also makes sense. 
but still looking good to me. Return on assets is sitting at 4.5% which is a low number. Return on equity looks very good and the most important number return on invested capital is sitting at 11.7% which is a great number. And it is slightly higher versus the 5 year average which is also something that I do like. Current ratio is at 1.6 which is looking pretty good. There is nothing really special to mention here. Right now AXP has 48 billion in debt. I prefer companies that can pay down at least a big chunk of the total debt with the total cash. AXP has roughly 42 billion in total cash so they can't pay down a big chunk of their total debt. This is something that I really like. But it is still very important that free cash flow is growing since this is used to pay down debt of course but also to buy back shares, pay dividends and a lot of things. And here we see that free cash flow is going up but not really steady and consistent. Again we see the impact of the lockdown periods as well but overall it looks good to me. Shares outstanding are decreasing which is something that I really like. When shares outstanding are decreasing it increases your ownership in the company, increases the EPS, lowers the PE ratio and makes it easier to maintain and increase the dividends. And since we are talking about dividends anyways, dividend yield is sitting at 1.6% which is a decent number. Annual pair to $2.4 and payers ratio is at only 21%. I prefer 50% or lower so right now they have 79% left in cash to buy back shares, pay down debt and do all acquisitions and a lot of things. The 5 year growth rate is at 10% which is a great number and they have 2 consecutive years of dividend increases. To be honest I would love a higher 5 year growth rate with payout ratio being this low. And if you take a look at these numbers, the dividends paid since 2012, you see that AXP did increase the dividends at a double digit for a long time. But during the lockdown periods, they didn't increase the dividends. We also see that the last two dividend increases were higher than the 5 year average, which is also very nice. Parent ratio is a very important metric with dividends. It tells you if the dividends are safe. And here we see that over a longer period of time, parent ratio is steady at 20%. During the lockdown periods it did increase quite a lot. In this graph we see the expected dividends in 2023, 2024 and 2025. Of course this is an estimation and can be highly impacted by results, but it gives you a rough indication. It's expected to grow at higher growth numbers which is very nice. Overall these dividends look pretty good to me, but how about the historical returns? I decided to compare AXP stock with the overall market. In this case the S&P 500. Next to that I added DFS. On the 5 year chart we see that AXP was beaten by the S&P 500. In total AXP returned 42% including dividends versus the S&P 500 sitting at 66%. DFS had the lowest return with 21%. On the 1 year chart we see that the S&P 500 again did beat AXP and DFS by a decent amount. On the 6 month chart it is looking pretty different with again the S&P 500 having the highest return, but with AXP and DFS having a negative return. On the 1 month chart it is again AXP sitting at a negative number. The S&P 500 did best with minus 4%, while DFS is sitting at minus 7% return. So bottom line AXP stock was beaten by the S&P 500 in the long run, and most recently it is also not looking any good. So could this be the perfect time to buy AXP stock? Well, let's check the 3 price targets that are created using the Everything Money software, which is one of the best tools out there. I'm using a low, mid and high assumption to get the 3 price targets, starting off with revenue growth. For the revenue growth I'm filling in 6, 7 and 8%, based on historical performance, the own outlook, but also because of the analysis. For the profit margin I'm filling in 13, 14 and 15%. For the free cash flow margin I'm putting in higher numbers. For the PE ratio and the price of free cash flow I'm putting in 12, 13 and 14. They are capable of growing at a high pace for their size, but they don't have the same mode as Visa or Mastercard in my opinion. My desired annual return is 12.5% since I can get an easy 10% average annual return with owning an ETF. Right now AXP stock is at $141. I hit analyze and we see a lot of green numbers. 
We have a low price target of $138 to $224. We have a mid price target of $167 to $262. And we have a high price target of $199 to $306. To me, the mid price target is the most justified here, indicating that this stock is undervalued right now. My final conclusion on this stock is that I love the company. They are capable of growing at a high rate and also capable of growing the margins and free cash flow. From a dividend point of view things look really interesting, but I would love to see higher growth rates in the dividend. From a value point of view I get excited the most. To me they look undervalued big time. And I'm waiting what in the coming days will happen with the stock. And then I will finally buy the stock for the first time. But remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about a stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.